So just as I was about to start putting this thing on paper and cutting things, I realized, wait a second, it, it doesn't really cut anything. So I'm back to my old comments and found three these three nice fellows. One suggesting I put a knife on the end, one doesn't want me to kill people, and one who didn't see it cutting anything. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna cut some stuff, kill some people, and put a knife in the end. Not really kill people, but still. So basically what I did is on this end of the motor, I got this nice little blade, which isn't quite a knife, but it's still a blade. And what I'm doing is just putting this little bit on so it's nice and firm. I'm getting some electrical tape. I'm going to put this or tape the blade on the end so it can cut things a lot cooler. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that this actually works. So as soon as you press the button here, it starts spinning and cutting. And due to the fact there's a razor blade on the end, I'm not going to stick my finger in there. But there is some cutting. I'll show you that right now. So here we go on the testing. Right now I've just got set it up on a basic loop. Here's a blank piece of paper. And I'm just going to see if it, the blade can cut through the paper. Yep. Right through right there. Ouch. So you can just imagine what this would do to your innocent finger. Yeah. I kind of want to destroy this before I hurt anything. But cutting things is so much fun. See all the nice little cuts it's making in this paper. Oh, and there goes paper. So as you can see, this thing actually does cut in comparison to what some people thought it would. And I'm going to take this blade off before I chop my finger off. Thank you.